Hi, welcome to One Night on the Page. I'm Scott. This is a ranking of Stephen King's short stories. We are on stories 95 through 91, so let's go ahead and get started. Story number 95 is The Road Virus Heads North, which was originally published in the anthology 999 in the year 1999, and then was collected in Everything's Eventual. The Road Virus Heads North is a very basic, in my opinion, Stephen King short story. A, a writer, because it, it's late Stephen King and write what you know. A lot of what King knows at this point is writers. So, uh, But he is a writer. He picks up a painting at a garage sale, I believe and heads home uh i believe he was at a a convention a writing convention and so he has a while to go to get home and he knows it and he and he notices over the course of driving home that the picture has slight changes to it he's seeing over the course of the story something look like it's showing up in it he gets concerned and so he dumps it at a rest stop but when he gets home it's there i i won't spoil the rest of the story for you but quite honestly if i were to spoil it it wouldn't be shocking or surprising you could kind of see where it's going it, it's kind of a story that you see in horror fiction a lot and this story doesn't really add anything to it uh, I feel like pretty much from the beginning of the story, and I'm saying this the first time I read it, I knew it was going to happen, and then it happened. Just not a horrible story, but not anything that brought anything to uh, the horror genre. The character was... it. It just kind of feels like a story, and I'm not saying that, that this is the case, but it feels like a story that was just kind of jotted down quickly and published. It's very mid all around and not particularly original. And I say that even, you know, knowing that Stephen King often starts with familiar territory but then he gives his own twist on things. And there's just a lot of these stories in the bottom half here, or at least the bottom quarter, they, they don't have the twist. Uh, story number 94 was also published in Everything's Eventual. It was originally published in The New Yorker in 1998, and then published in Everything's Eventual in 2002. It is... That feeling, you can only say it in French. And of course, the feeling is déjà vu. A woman keeps experiencing the same car ride over and over and over again. Uh, it, it, it's another Stephen King story. And I, I appreciate that in later short fiction, he tries to take a new approach do something different i i call a lot of what he does as far as horror fiction particularly in short stories in his later career kind of a little bit of a psychological horror fiction maybe a little bit i uh, i don't want to use the term meta because i don't think it particularly applies but it's very looking in on itself fiction it, it's mind exercise. I just don't find this one particularly interesting. It's basically, again, like a lot of later Stephen King fiction, kind of looking at mortality. And this one is this deja vu. It's basically kind of like purgatory. And it's, I, I have mentioned in previous uh, reading wrap-ups talking about books that I've been reading during the week. 
uh, I believe I was talking about... I know at one point I was talking about Mikhail Bulgakov's The Master and Margarita. Uh, but what was I talking Also James Joyce, uh, the portrait, portrait of an artist as a young man. And there was one that I just talked about in my last one, but I can't remember what it is. And I'll remember it as soon as I'm done with this video. But there's the the story of ideas and the story of story. And Stephen King is amazing at the story of stories, of just telling a story and getting you engrossed in it. And like oftentimes, like particularly the Master Margarita, it's a story of ideas, whereas the story itself, the plot of the characters aren't particularly as, you know, intriguing as, oh, I was talking about Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. That's the one I had just read recently. That's a very great story of idea. I just don't think it's a story of story that it holds up particularly well. Stephen King's usually the inverse, but a lot of later Stephen King that is in this bottom quarter particularly is more of a story of idea, but it doesn't get explored well enough. Uh, story number 93 was uh, originally published in the collection The Bizarre Bad Dreams in 2015. It is Obits. Very simple plot. A man gets a job writing obits. At one point, he writes an obit in frustration for his boss because she refused to give him a pay raise. Then he, he wakes up the next day to find out that she has actually died. And he begins to explore this more and more and discovers that when he writes an obit for somebody, that person dies. And the more he does it, not only does when he writes an obit, the person he writes about dies, but people sharing that name die. And it's basically an exploration of that. But like along with the two previous stories I just talked about, it's just... It's just it's just touching the surface. We're not seeing anything under the surface. It's all story, albeit story without really much of character in it. The, the, the obit writer in here, I believe his name Mike, but I could be wrong. Uh, it isn't, he's just a device and he doesn't stand out as a character and you know stephen king has amazing short stories which you're not hearing me talk about recently because go i'm going from worst to best and i have a while to go before we start hitting some real gems he's an amazing short story writer but he has quite a few duds too and i th this one is one where I read it, I was like, okay. And then, except when I do the thing where I'm like reading all of Stephen King, which I don't see myself doing again for quite a while because I just did it a couple years ago, this isn't a story that I'm going to particularly pick up and read again. Mm, short story number 92 is The Cat from Hell, originally published in Cavalier in 1977 and then collected in just after sunset in 2008 which 30 years later pretty much once we got past um skeleton crew generally his story collections had been of recent stories so having one that was like 30 years old like I have talked about previously, some of the short stories that are like 115 to 111, I had to go find because they're not collected. Man with a Belly, his very worst story, 
it's not collected. Some others are like weeds, which I don't think is a particularly bad story. It's not collected, except it is in the creep show it is written in, in comic strip form, but it's not collected as a short story that was originally published. So this one, 31 years later, was collected. Uh, a, a hitman is hired to basically kill a cat. Uh, the person who hired him uh, has done research, which has included torturing in the killing of cats and he believes that this cat is going to take vengeance on him so he hires the hitman to kill the cat very ec comics like uh this is something and i think and i will try to remember to put it down here i think this story was included in the second creep show movie I remember the first creep show movie. I don't really remember the second one as well. I know it's it's got the one about the uh, totem pole thing, and I can't really remember what else is in it. But I think the cat from hell is in it too. Could be wrong. No, or was it Cat's Eye? Don't know. Info. Uh, so I mean, that's a story, and there's Hitman in it. I just mentioned Man with the Belly. Stephen King is very hit or missed with crime. If it's got mafia or hitmen or in it, it's like, well, this is a crapshoot. And I think this one just doesn't really stand up well. Also, <laughs> I say this as somebody who, who, who loves cats. And I have cats. I have dogs, too. I have Wash over there blazing away uh Stephen King is a dog person I he has had cats before uh I believe it was uh yeah I believe he had a cat named Smucky that was kind of the uh inspiration for the book Pet Cemetery, but generally he has had dogs. He seems to be more of a dog lover. And so writing about cats, I just don't think that part works out as well. And again, Hitman, not really what I'm looking for from Stephen King. And short story number 91 is It Grows on You, originally published in Marsh Roots, which I believe was either a literary magazine or possibly a college I, I don't think it was college because i think uh, i think he graduated 71 possibly uh but just judging by the story probably probably a literary magazine and that was in 1973 and then collected in nightmares and dreamscapes in 1994, with 21 years, not as long as uh, it took to publish The Cat from Hell, but it did take a while. Uh, and it's kind of a background story of Castle Rock, which on its own, it, it's kind of like, to me, it's a little bit the... the uh, novella after the play which is was it no it's before the play before the play which is a little bit of a history of the overlook hotel before the shining and it's interesting and i say interesting in the same way that i say the similarian is interesting J.R. tolkien you get background information and i know there are people who love that background information and i would like having that background information but it's not something i'm like yes get to read that and that, that's what this is it, it's just a little bit of background of castle rock so it it's it's fine but it doesn't stand out particularly well and it's uh, 
almost all just narrative, which doesn't particularly interest me. But that is stories 95 through 91. We're starting to get a little bit better. Going to start going into stories that are like, eh. Like, not awful stories or blast stories that have something interesting in them. And then we'll slowly start moving into the stories that are like, this is good. This is great. This is the best story ever. And of course coming up in like six or seven weeks uh the next story collection you like it darker will come out where i have i have read seven of the short stories in there got five stories in there which i don't know if they're novellas and or short stories so i will have to see what they are and then plug them into my rating at that point but until then please like and subscribe leave a comment and i will talk to you next time